Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the BlackBerry DTX60 versus the Google uh, Pixel XL here. So I'm just going to quickly boot both of these two devices at the same time. Here we go. And obviously Google Pixel XL here uh, comes with the latest Android 7.1 Nougat. Um, while the, pre uh, I mean the DTX60 here is coming with the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Uh, so also we have Snapdragon 821 on the Pixel XL versus Snapdragon 820 on the DTX60. I already did a speed test with the S7, you can check that out on the channel. You can see that Pixel XL is faster in booting up, followed by the BlackBerry DTX60. So you can see the difference here in, in the boot up. So I'm just going to quickly unlock here this one. So same Wi-Fi network on uh, both phones. And uh, also I do have everything closed in the background. And uh, let's start off with the basic phone dialer. I'm just going to quickly lower down the brightness here a bit. And here we go. You can see that was about the same speed here. Uh, no difference at all. Calculator. And you can see that was also pretty similar so system based applications are looking neck and neck next we got settings and you can see that was pretty fast on both devices again very similar performance when it comes to uh, the system based applications uh, let's move on towards some third party stuff so we got color switch here real quick and let's see which one can finish faster so I think the uh, Pixel XL here finished off faster with the first game uh, next up we got the Instagram so let's go and you can see again Pixel XL finishes off with the latest feed faster uh, compared to the Blackberry phone so I'm gonna go back and launch Subway Surfer that is installed on both devices let's go and of course we do have 4 gigs of RAM on both phones so it would be um, interesting to see the RAM management on these two devices. So you can see the Pixel XL is done and BlackBerry is still taking some time. Now this really shows that uh, the uh, Snapdragon 821 is really an improvement over the 820. Uh, you can see that it is snappier with the third-party application, especially games. So uh, let's see if we can check out another game that is going to be uh, Gunfu uh, 2. Let's go. And again, you can see that the 821 is performing better. Uh, we can check out WhatsApp. This time BlackBerry was faster. Let's check out the Viber. That was about the same. Let's see here, we also got Smash Hit. Let's go. And again, Pixel XL is faster there. So yeah, Snapdragon 821 takes the things a bit faster. And let's launch camera and see which one can open that one up quicker. Let's go. And again, Pixel XL, it is a faster phone. So uh, moving on towards the browser test. And after that, we'll be taking a look at the RAM management. First off, we'll be opening up wikipedia.org website here. Let's go and see which one can finish off first. And seems like the... BlackBerry is faster here, so uh, Pixel was a bit slower there. So uh, overall, in-app experience is really smooth here on both devices. Uh, zooming in and out, really smooth. No uh, performance difference there. Uh, we can just go ahead and load up another website uh, that is going to be WWE.com. And let's go. And again, we'll see which one can finish up faster. Okay, BlackBerry loaded up the ad and followed by the Pixel 
and both are absolutely at the same time finishing at the same time if i'm not wrong again you guys are the judge here so i'm gonna close this ad and you can see that was a kind of a similar experience you can check out the ram management here because you know this uh browser test is just to you know uh see uh if they can hold up the applications in the memory for some time or not so you can see so far system-based applications are in the memory uh no closing or refreshing color switch that is also in the memory here uh, let's see uh, the Instagram here we also have subway surfer no refresh going good gun fu oops pretty nice stuff here and let's check out whatsapp that is also pretty good okay and let's see Weber so you can't really expect any refresh because 4 gigs of RAM is like a really sweet spot for an Android phone to have perfect multitasking so so you can see that it these are super awesome with multitasking back to Google Chrome and back to Google Chrome so yeah top-notch performance on both devices even though uh, you may not like the Blackberry phone uh, you know the camera is not top-notch com you know compared to the competition um, but and, and then the build quality is also uh, same as the Alcatel Idol 4s obviously it's basically the same device but uh, with you know it's a Blackberry phone and they added some things uh, you know improvement but but yeah I mean one thing that is uh, really good is the performance which is uh, pretty awesome with this phone and uh, yeah, that's it for this speed test. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and catch you later. Peace